Greetings to you all. Hello everybody. Today we are having this time of daily devotions and I'm so happy to be with you at this time. We're going to talk about John chapter 3 and you know, I know that you all are familiar with this chapter and we're going to talk about being born again. I know that we have dealt with this sometimes before but then I just think that this is such an important thing in our lives that we need to emphasize it, you know, in a way that it really enters into our hearts. You all know that Nicodemus was a ruler of the law. He was someone who was a ruler of the Sanhedrin and he was he knew everything about the first five books of the Bible because he was an official, a very high official in the temple. But he saw Jesus and he saw Jesus going around and doing amazing things. And he knew that this was something very different. He'd never seen this before. And he had, you know that the Jews were waiting for the Messiah. And he was, he really needed a confirmation. So he went to Jesus and he went to him by night. So that, you know, people would not remark that, look at this man visiting, um, visiting this rabbi. And he asked him, he said, Jesus, I have been seeing the things that you are doing. And it's amazing. And no one can do this unless they are from God. And Jesus knew at once that Nicodemus wanted to enter into the kingdom of God. And he did not know how. And so Jesus told him, hey, Nicodemus, unless you are born of the water and the spirit, unless you are born again, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Isn't that amazing? Unless we confess our sin to the Lord Jesus, unless we accept his blood for a cleansing for our sin, unless we trust him, unless we believe in him. That's what the word of God says. To all those who believed, God gave them the power to become children of God. Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? And, you know, what God was doing here is that he was imparting eternal life to those who are dead in sin. Imparting eternal life to those dead in sin. Dead, death is something of finality. You cannot reverse death. Eternal life is something that lasts forever. You cannot reverse it. So God was giving eternal life to that finality of death. What an amazing thing. What an amazing thing is God's gift for us. I want you, dear, dear brothers and sisters, to actually um, share this. I want to share this with you, that there are four changes that happen when we are born again. Four changes that happen in our lives when we are born again. Firstly, there is a change in our relationship with God. You know, if at one point we were enemies to the cross, that's what Paul says, but now we become his children. You become children of God and you begin to share in his love, the love that he has for you. You begin to reciprocate. You're in a love relationship with Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? So there is a change in our relationship. You know, secondly, there is a change in our position of being separated from him. There was a huge distance between God and us because of our sin. But then God has, when, he, when we invite Jesus into our hearts, and we accept his precious blood to wash us, you know, when our sins are gone away, that that separation is gone in the minute, in an instant it is gone, and we come close to him, hallelujah. The third thing is that there is a change in our attitude. All of this time, we saw things from our own point of view, and that made us very sad often. But now we are going to see things from God's point of view. We're going to have his heart, 
his attitude, how lovely that is. Fourthly, we have there is a change in our destination. The closer we are to God, the, the closer we are to God, the more wonderful it is. And as God and, and in before we have already seen that our destination without Jesus would be eternal condemnation. We would perish. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that who, whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. So there is a change in our destination in the sense that we are not going to perish. We are not going to perish, but we are forever going to be united with the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful Savior that he has given us this gift of eternal life. Amen and amen.